Um, uh, Amel. Um, keep going. What what is the Lips. arrow pointing? What the did mouth. you say? Lips. You got it. With um less than half of the um hourglass hourglass full. Okay, cool. All right, let me let this. I'm gonna let this um fill out. Okay, and then I'll roll mm -hmm. the glass. I'll roll the dice again. And let's see. All right, let's do. Okay, this is a harder one. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Flipping the hourglass. Person playing soccer. Person kicking mm -hmm. a ball. Kick, kick, you got kick. it. Good job, yeah. good job. Okay, Um. this is, it's a little bit less than half time. Okay, so I'm gonna let that go. And okay, so I'm just gonna choose the color myself now. I'm not gonna roll a dice. I'm gonna do new. And the timer is now, the timer, whoops. The timer is now empty. So let me do new, don't save. Clean um, sheet of paper and ready, flipping it. A boat race. Yay! Boat race! Yay! That was fast. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Coletti, did we practice these beforehand? No. Okay. I swear. Good. Okay, cool. All right. We're going to do, um, let's do from the new, don't say. Let's do from the orange. Tripod. Yay, you got it! Good job! So that was me playing Pictionary with my daughter. And I can't believe how many we got right. And um, that was lots of fun. Um, so I have done this with my nieces in Atlanta. Love you. And my mom in Pennsylvania. Love you. And I will say that this is, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so this is a play and trace. Look at that. And it has some cool transparencies that come with it. This is a whole kit. So this is a little transparency that comes with my play and trace. It's a scene. So if you have a younger student, the younger student can just trace this onto their play and trace, okay? It comes with a pen and it comes with all kinds of little spirals and projects that the kids can do. So I wrote down the date on this. Can you see that date? Oh, I think you can. It says July 7th, play and trace. Awesome. We can make all kinds of fun little drawings on here, notes, um, you can um, do the alphabet. They give you the alphabet for a template. So that would be really fun if you have younger students. I had my 15 year old draw a really fun flamingo yesterday and it was beautiful. And she's really into fonts and doing different creative sayings. And this is something really fun for that as well. So when I, it actually has batteries back here, right here, battery pack. So when I click this button up here, it's gonna all disappear. Look, now it's completely blank. Okay? So you make a picture on it, and then you press this button, and it goes completely blank. It does like a little light shimmering too. Okay, now there are just about a million extension activities that you can do with Play and Trace and Pictionary. I will try and put some of those in the description down below. Also, with Play and Trace, as well as Pictionary, 
if you give this a little forethought before you go into your work day, you can have some ideas set up for your students. So if you have a busy day and you don't necessarily want them on their devices all day long, but you need to get work done, have this right next to your desk and then have a bunch of different ideas uh, set up so your students can actually do a little bit of learning, do a little bit of fun STEM games, and you can get your work done. Okay. So, um, Play and Trace comes with these awesome little... These, so, it comes with regular land, and it also comes with... Those are transparencies. A beach. Okay. So you can put these in front, behind, and it also comes with a ton of like slacks you can whip off. And then look, it could go, it's probably easier behind, but you can still draw through it. Ooh, okay. It's probably easier because you can see what you're drawing if it's behind though. Okay. Can you draw me something? Do you think this would keep you busy while I like went on a business call? Yes. Definitely. I like this. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of other activities like you could totally... And so would Blockus and all of the other, kind of all the other STEM gifts you put on feature. Thanks, buddy. Um, you know what I'm I thinking? This and this are really fun. Oh, good. I'm thinking we could make a stop motion animation from this too. Oh yeah. And just move those around a little bit and make them come to life. Yeah, and you could post that too. Yes, you're getting good. You, do you want to work for my company? Oh, okay. How about you take over and I'll retire? What kind of fish is this again? Is that an angel fish? Oh yeah. And then one next to it is a, a clown fish, isn't that? Like yeah. Finding Nemo? Yeah, it looks like it. What kind of fish was Dory? I don't know.